How's it going everybody? I wanted to make a little bit different video for you today. This is the five reasons you should get your ANP. That is your airframe and power plant certificate from the Federal Aviation Administration. Stick around and I'll get into it. Okay, it's pretty simple. The first reason is the one we all know and love, pay. Now I will say all of these numbers are based on San Antonio, Texas and the year 2023. This is what I have students graduating and making out of school. With an AMP, you can go to places like Boeing, United Airlines, Southwest, and get between $30 and $40 an hour. That is real numbers from my students with no experience. You can go anywhere you want right now. Demand is so high because the previous generation is retiring. You can go to Dallas. You can go to... Austin, you can go just about anywhere and there's positions opening up at decent pay. Without your AMP, you're looking at between $10 to $15 less an hour. Reason number two, job security. We've all heard it. We've all heard it a million times. We lost the contract. Something happened. We have to do layoffs. And who gets laid off first? Non-AMPs, repairmen, people that don't hold certificates. They get laid off then the AMPs get laid off. So the second one, job security. Third, training opportunities. If you are working for a large company like Boeing, ST Engineering, Southwest, just to name a few, they are more likely to send you to training for composites, for electricity, for whatever task it may be if you have an airframe and power plant certificate. You've already shown to them up to that point that you have the determination and the dedication necessary to get a certificate and to hold that certificate. And they may be more inclined to send you to training than the guy next to you who doesn't hold his certificate. Fourth reason, flexibility. You can move from department to department to department with an AMP. If you go to an MRO or a maintenance repair organization just off the street, they're going to have to put you through all of their training to get you a repairman certificate, and more than likely you're going to specialize immediately. They will have you do sheet metal, they will have you do wheels and brakes, whatever it may be. With an AMP, if you're working in wheels and brakes and you don't like it, and an opening comes up in another department, you can move to that department and do OJT rather than having to cross train. So it's another benefit that if you don't like the duties that you're currently working, you can move and do other ones without having to go through a whole bunch of training and reinvestment on the company side. My fifth reason is actually going to be a bonus reason, and it's the one we all know and love, bragging rights. The guys who have AMP certificates walk through the hangar and say, well, I have my AMP, you're just a repairman. If you have your AMP, you can brag about it. And the fifth reason, this is something nobody ever talks about, but it is true. An airframe and power plant certificate is so much better than just airplanes. I personally have had job offers to work in the trucking industry, to work in heavy machinery, to work on tractors, because employers know that airframe and power plant technicians have training in hydraulics, pneumatics, electricity, and a lot of specialized fields that normally you would have to go and you'd have to get that certificate and another certificate and another and another. And you get all of these trainings built up to have the experience you need. But with an airframe and power plant, that is all built in to our professional certificate. So you don't have to work airplanes. You could specialize. I would work airplanes for a while. You could specialize in non-destructive inspection and then you could go inspect roller coasters for another company for 100,000, 200,000 a year, whatever it is they pay, I don't know. But the point is, if you get your AMP, work airplanes and decide it's not for you and you wanna do something else and you don't like the liability, that's fine. There are people that will hire you outside of aviation, not just outside of aviation, also in aviation, there is flexibility to go anywhere you wanna go. If you look at a lot of job offers for contracting, overseas contracting, stateside contracting, whatever it is, one of the requirements is to hold an airframe and power plant certificate. A lot of places don't want to hire people who don't have certificates 
because they have to train them and you move around a lot. So you have the flexibility with an airframe and power plant to go and work contract, to go and work in MRO, to go and work for a big airline, and to go wherever you want to go. So that's going to be it, guys. Six quick reasons, probably a short video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button. If you found it helpful, subscribe. If you are an aircraft mechanic, maybe you're a repairman, maybe you're an AMP, leave a comment below where you are, if you're not ashamed of it, how much money you make, and what opportunity, where you want to end up. What do you want to do with your career? And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Be easy.